time is up for Arkansas candidates to file papers for 2020 campaigns. The big local question, which Democrats would step forward in this red state? THV 11's Rolly Hoyt says one high profile name jumped in at the last minute. Dawn State Senator Joyce Elliott is proudly progressive and easily recognized as one of the faces in the local education debates. She will take on French Hill for his seat in Congress. She will need to energize her Little Rock base and hope for a blue wave in the Little Rock suburbs. I'm going to follow Kendrick Lamar and tell you I am Joyce Elliott and I am running for the United States Congress. This will be a second try for a federal office for the senior Democrat in the state Senate. She lost to Tim Griffin in 2010, a bad year to be a Democrat running in the South. I think that was a year there was so much clap back against the Democratic Party because President Obama had been elected. She managed only 80,000 votes that year. That's the lowest for any major party candidate in the last eight elections. But this time, Democrats are counting on clap back against a Republican president. Everybody's just simply more energized. And as I ran in 2010, I ran a fearless campaign you know, not being concerned about it's going to be difficult. This cycle will be difficult as well. Republican French Hill has avoided controversy on Capitol Hill, focusing on financial issues that fit his banking background. If Elliott pulled the upset, she would be the first woman in history to win the seat and the first person of color to represent the district since Reconstruction. She says she will focus on her strength, her first calling as a teacher. In addition to health care, I'm going to work as I always have to make sure children have a world-class education. She will also need all her skills for what she says is her other great calling. The other thing I always wanted to do, as I said at the beginning, the other thing I always wanted to do is be a politician from age 10. Well, now Elliot says she is happy in her safe Senate seat and had been helping the party try and find someone to run against Hill. Then last weekend came and she came to the conclusion that that person had to be her. There is no need for a primary in either party. Independent Joseph Glenn Smith of Faulkner County has also filed to run.